Oh boy, it is that time of year. Yeah, guys, it is, uh, well, it's not yet Christmas, but it is soon towards the holiday season. Uh, you know, overall, I'm not a really big fan of all these events, of all these holidays, because they're mainly just centered around uh, marketing and all those, you know, things that people uh, so much love, you know, money and stuff like that, well, corporate people. Uh, so because of those reasons or you know one of the many reasons uh, why I don't like well I'm just not a really big fan of Christmas that, I'm, that is all what I'm trying to say uh, yeah you know just chilling with the family that is alright for me but besides that yeah I'm not really feeling it that is what I'm trying to say but we're still gonna do some uh, Christmas videos because it is on team, right? Yeah, I'm sure. Um, and it is requested by music fans, so I didn't, you know, uh, put it out of my ass and said to myself, let's do this uh, Christmas together, guys. And, you know, watch Christmas videos because, you know, I'm, I'm not like that. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna, you know, sit here, uh, force myself to watch those videos, but it is, but it is requested and you guys know that um, if I like or I'm neutral about something then I'm gonna give it a chance or well I'm gonna watch it anyway if I like it but we're gonna watch the top 10 British Christmas songs from uh, the Watchmoji UK channel requested by um, Stephen Young and you know he just requested this and usually I uh, react to things first uh, what is requested earlier that is how it works but I'm gonna, you know, let this slip because it is Christmas, you know. So it is on team, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna do this first. Uh, so yeah, probably, you know, you guys don't really care, so <laughs> there we go. But yeah, we're gonna watch this video. The, it, it is a pretty new video, it's only t uh, three days old by the uh, UK channel. So also a pretty thick accent. Um, yeah, let's just watch the video. The thumbnail is really freaky. I'm not sure who that is, but you can let me know. If you, of course, have <laughs> have the decency to watch it, the thumbnail, but there we go. Roll out the tinsel because... You know, my opinion about Christmas songs, at least, is that... Um, the the classic ones you know the wham the mariah carey all those kind of songs are they're good of course but they're overblown so they're really tiring to hear i never have to hear last christmas or uh you know that mariah carey song i don't ever have to hear that again um you know in the modern shit is just unoriginal dull and tasteless most of the time you know i I'm not saying everything modern is shit, but most of it, you know. So that's kind of, you know, that's kind of the reason why I don't like it, but hey, there we go. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10. Yeah, last Christmas, of course. Christmas songs. Yeah, George Michael's British. Hmm, all right. Didn't know that, but there we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shut the fuck up. You know, even with, with the holidays, they're corporate as fuck. As usual. And this song. Is that Bob Paul McCartney? I, I didn't know that. But all right. I didn't even know that. You know, I, I don't follow Paul McCartney, but so there we are. You know, I know, I know front to back the Beatles, of course, I know his, uh, his work with the Beatles, uh, front to back. But you know, solo work, I never really got into it, so there we are. A modern classic and probably the catchiest Christmas song of the 21st century, Don't Let the Bells End in the Darkness. A Christmas song with a 12 string, not bad, not bad. The video is a bit cheesy though, but I can accept it, I can accept it. There is some guitar in it. That that falsetto though. It's a record which expertly parodies the look and feel of previous Christmas hits, while 
still carving out its very own niche. And the glam rock video is just as awesome. Now I wouldn't say so, but... It's alright, I guess. Number 9, driving home for Christmas, Chris Reed. Oh, this is a great song. Chart success enjoyed by some of today's other entries. It's almost impossible to go through Christmas without. I actually, you know, you probably don't believe me, but I haven't heard this song in forever, so. Oh, she has uh, chemo, if you say it like that. That's kind of uh, fucked up, but hey, there we go. The video is horrible, but I love the song. Any song which gets Lionel Blair jiving with Keith from the office is a winner in our eyes. Chemo in your face, love it. The title is horrible. Oh, of course, of course. John Lennon and Paul McCartney. Ugh. Yeah. That is one reason why I'm not a fan of uh, of Yoko Ono. Well, John Lennon, of course, but. You know, I do like John Lennon, but when he goes political, just shut the fuck up, man. Oh no, you didn't. Uh, you didn't go there. You didn't go there. It has since become a seasonal standard with an iconic opening line and enduring lyrics. War is over encourages everyone to challenge the status quo and to strive for a better world. You know, going to third uh, third world world countries to uh, to gain you know marketing and to prove your points. On Christmas time, you know, I kind of get that, you know, you want to help the kids as well, you know, feel uh, like they're having a home like a Christmas too. But they don't know, you know, that holiday because they never grew up with it. And, you know, you kind of doing it because of this. I mean, admit it, admit it. That is what, you know, you can say, you, know, uh, you can say to me that John Lennon does this because he has a pure heart, but... I mean, for me, you know, it's all corporate bullshit. That is, uh, that is how I'm looking at it. But I, uh, at least I think that. You know, I'm not saying it's true. Number seven, stay another day. East seventeen. That name is horrible. All right, all right. We we have a compass here. And, you know, we have a 1 in 4 chance that we have uh, one of these names, you know. So maybe North, East, South, West, you know. Oh, alright, we're gonna name ourselves East. Now, oh, what number am I taking? Well, I'm 17, so, yeah, 17, right? Horrible name, that, that is what I'm trying to tell with that. Fucking hell. How to be a lazy fuck. Do what I just said. Fucking hell. East 17. What does it even mean? Yeah, and then some comments. Yeah, East 17 is about this and this. Yeah, sure. It's a dumb name. What? Then why talk about it? Fucking hell. You don't, you don't want to go there, but why do you talk about it then? Fucking hell, what mojo. They were doing so well with their first video, and now they're fucking up like crazy, man. Oh my god. Number six, stop the cavalry. Jonah Louis. Uh, this list is mixed for me, you know. E17, man. What a horrible name. Kuna Lewis or something like that. Sounds right. It's just your own name, so. You, know, you, you can't really do anything about that, so. An 
I can barely hear him. It reached number three in the UK charts, kept off the top spot only by two re released John Lennon tracks. Oh, of yours, of yours. The John Lennon, you filthy fucker, man. It's all good, it's all good. I don't play John Lennon. No, I don't. If it is Christmas every day, then it takes all the magic away, you know? For me, the magic is already gone, like, uh, after I was 10 or something, but still. No, after, after everything became reality to me, then it's then it lost to me. Those kids make me cringe, man. Oh my god. You know, it's not because I hate kids or something. Well, I do hate them, but... But it is mainly because they are so wooden, you know? They are so... So stiff. They don't move. They just play their instrument and stay really... Put. They're not really... Uh, they're not really comfortable in the music video. You can really see that. Or they're just dumb as fuck, or both. I'm not a kids fan. I'm not a kids fan. Yeah, that's Christmas, of course. I actually thought that that, that, that this was fucking out. That this was gonna be number one, but it isn't. So. Wham is great, man. You know, it's so overblown for me, but I love Wham. It is so sad as well because last Christmas George Michael passed away. Michael Fucking hell, man. That's ironic as hell, but it's, it's so sad. Fuck off, man. Carly Rae Jepsen can suck my dick. <laughs> yeah, that's a ton of alright, Slade. You know, if, you, if you even can do the do the effort to uh, to spell Chris in Mus, then you're a lazy fucker. Merry Xmas, fuck off, mate. Ah, the owners know. Don't don't bitch about that. But guys, it's so lazy. Nobody cares. I mean, Slade is genius, right? Because he has created a Christmas powerhouse that everybody is gonna play every year because, you know, dumb fuckers. And he's gonna make a shitload of money off of that because Slade. Genius motherfucker. Oh, this song. Yeah, this is a great song. Just the main hook, the main uh, clinging bell melody, it's it's great, man. It has so much melody. Oh, George Michael, there we go. I mean, if you have George Michael in your music, then it's bound to succeed, you know? It's, it's bound to. Just everything he touches, you know, goes gold. Quite literally. Oh, Bono, as well. Uh, uh, that's, that's last, but it's, it's still good. Uh, Sting? Yeah. Fucking crossover, man. 
That's a famous one as well, but... Uh, that was the guy from Journey, I believe, I'm not sure. Uh, Coldplay, Christmas Light. This isn't number one, right? No, no. <laughs> if Coldplay was number one, holy fucking shit, no. You guys know I like Coldplay, but not number one. <laughs> I mean, come on. Uh, Christmas Live or Coldplay. That's a good song, but not one of the best. Uh, Merry Christmas Everyone by Shaken Stevens. Really weird video. Yeah, I, I do know the song. I basically know every Christmas song because it is so overblown, but yeah, whatever. Uh, Proper Crimbo by Bo Selecta. Never heard this before and I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm actually really blessed. I've never heard this song. Pitching an Irish punk band with an English vocalist, Fairy Tale of New York is an off kilter ballad. Sounds really sad though. Regret, hopes, dreams, and alcoholism. Said at Christmas for good measure. It almost entirely ignores the conventional Christmas formula, but boasts more magic than every other festive effort out there. Uh, that hook. I'm not a fan of that hook. It sounds so, uh, so Irish, so drunk, you know? If you think of the Irish, you think of drunk, man. I'm not, I'm not saying it is, I'm just thinking that. Uh, I'm not a fan of this. How is that number one? What the fuck? It's not a bad song, but how? You know that last song, I, um, I forgot the name already. Everybody knows it's Christmas or something like that. It's, it's way better. But hey, whatever. What is my opinion, right? Um, yeah, I mean, these videos are really short because I'm just saying my things and I I'm, I'm move on. I, I do know, you know, back in the day, I paused the video and talked about it for like five minutes. I'm not doing that anymore because, you know, I have a limit. So there we go. Uh, but we're gonna watch some comments because why not? Merry Christmas, everyone! How original, Watch Mojo! How original! Uh, I was born in '74, and I and I was brought up by these classic Christmas songs. Yeah, sure. Uh, you do know it's not actually pronounced Xmas, right? V O at is typical best, typical best. V O. I'm not really sure what he means, but you know, he doesn't explain himself, so... Rip, Ge Rip George Michael, yeah, of course. Oh, Ripper legend, man. Miss, uh, I do really miss that guy. Uh, I can't imagine wandering around the supermarket and Slade not playing as Christmas. Yeah, I mean, Slade is everywhere, man. Fucking hell. Um, Fairytale of New York. I'm so glad put the pogies as number one. Nothing can top Fairytale of New York. Uh, I'm just not a fan, man. I'm just not a fan of that song. But hey, whatever. Um, but hey, guys, the comments aren't really interesting, so there we go. You know, the top comment just very, very Xmas or something like that. Uh, so, no. And actually, you know, uh, one of the worst channels of all time, Miss Mojo, have also a... Um... A video or you know they've made a top 10 best uh, Christmas team music videos and they have Lonely Island on the on the thumbnail but they have Dick in the Box on the thumbnail you guys know that that ain't a Christmas song right the only thing that had uh, that has that is related to, to Christmas is you know the present but that that doesn't necessarily mean that it is Christmas but hey whatever uh, Miss Mojo, man, not not even doing research about that, man. Oh, <laughs> uh, Miss Mojo, man, I'm not I'm, I'm not even gonna watch that video. I'm not ever going to touch Miss Mojo again, so I don't know why why I bring that up, 
why I did bring that up, but hey, it was right in front of my face, so sure, let's talk about it. But uh, that was the video, guys. I'm not really a big fan of Christmas, but hey, whatever. I still have four more videos that are requested and are Christmas theme related, so we're gonna do them. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what you think about the Christmas videos. Uh, I'm personally not a really big fan of it, but you know, still it is uh, it, it is uh, Christmas, so whatever. Well, almost, but so yeah, you know, just get it out of the way. That is how that is how music fans said it. That is how I'm gonna say it. So uh, let's put it at that. And if you do enjoy these videos, and I'm glad, but you know. Still not a really big fan of it, but hey, whatever. Hope you've enjoyed it and uh, take care. And of course, Merry Christmas already. <laughs>